You probably already know because of the title of this video, but I have to deliver the sad news that the iPod is officially dead. Actually, this one's been dead for a long time, but this one, the iPod Touch, has officially been discontinued by Apple. Uh, the company today decided to no longer make iPod Touches, uh, which actually means they're no longer making any iPod whatsoever. Apple says that it's eliminating the iPod Touch because its capabilities are available across Apple's entire product lineup, which is true. Uh, pretty much any product that you have from Apple that's made within the last, I don't know, five years can probably do everything that this does. It makes sense, I know, but it's still sad. Like I've grown up with an iPod and I held it pretty near and dear to my heart. I'm a big music fan. I love listening to music on my iPod, pretty much middle school, all through high school, and even almost all throughout college until I finally got an iPhone. Apple introduced the first iPod 21 years ago, back in October of 2001. And at the time, it was a revolutionary music device that put thousands of songs in your pocket in a tiny form factor. And I know what you're thinking, Dan, this is a chonky boy, which yes, it is by today's standards. But back then, this was as cool as something like this. And you know, since then there was the iPod Nano, the iPod Shuffle, and then of course the iPod Touch, and now all of them are gone. This iPod Touch was the last one to come out, which was back in 2019. And honestly, uh, back then, its existence didn't make a whole lot of sense um, or probably generate a ton of sales. I do think the iPod Touch, in my opinion though, is still a perfect stepping stone for a child and uh, getting a smartphone for them. Uh, this would be something I'd feel comfortable giving my kids to use to play games, listen to music, and maybe watch some videos. Uh, and I don't have to get them a really expensive iPhone or even an iPad, and it's a smaller form factor for them to carry around and use. And I don't have to break the bank again by buying a full-on iPhone for someone who I think is still too young. Of course, it makes sense. Apple's not gonna keep this around for that very niche scenario. But if you do wanna buy an iPod Touch, you can still do that. It'll still be available for purchase through Apple's website, retail stores, and through authorized resellers while supplies last. And so if you're interested in owning a piece of discontinued tech that will soon be considered vintage, I highly recommend picking them up before they sell out forever. The seventh generation iPod Touch, again, which is this one right here, Priced at $199, still has a top and bottom bezel, a four inch display, a standard home button, there's no touch ID whatsoever, uh, and it has an A10 Fusion chip, but again, it's still a really good device for someone who just wants some of the basic capabilities of an iPhone at a really, really affordable price. It's available in pink, product red, space gray, silver, gold, and this blue color. But I would love to know your thoughts about the iPod being officially discontinued. While I know it makes sense, it's still a bummer for me. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about, you know, this iPod never seeing the light of day again, all the way up to this iPod never seeing the light of day again. Let me know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.